Hey guys, this is Mike with Virtue with the new Virtue Spire loader here. So I'm going to take you through that today, through uh, most of the features of it. So it's actually compared to the other loaders in paintball, it's smaller, so it's actually got a smaller profile, it's shorter on the gun, it holds more paint at the same time, so it's smaller and holds more paint, and it's lighter. It comes apart super quick, so when you want to take the back shell off, you have the unlock and lock button here, so you unlock, the back shell comes off. And then when you want to take out the internals, it's all mounted on one tray here. So you press the slide lock in, pull it out. Now the entire thing is apart. So if you ever need to clean it or anything, change the batteries, that's how quickly and easy it is to take the spire apart. When you want to put it back together, you point the nose in, push it in until it clicks. Now the tray's back in. Then when you want to put your lid back on, or say your speed feed, just one click and that goes right back in there too. You lock it down, you're good to go. So that's how quick it is to take the spire apart and put it back together. Now, as far as the operation of it, you have your simple on and off button here. So you got your power button, turn it on, turn it off. We just want it to be as simple as possible. So that's all everyone really has to do is just turn it on, use it, turn it off. If you're dying to tinker with it, you know, Virtue, we always have a lot of settings and adjustability with our software. There's a whole programming mode in here, which I'll show you on another video, but everything is adjustable, but it's absolutely not needed. So with this product, we tell you, only adjust it if you really have to, or you're really just dying to mess with the settings. But the, uh, the simple operation, was a big key behind it. So now to show you how it works, I'm just going to uh, take it apart again, kind of show you how the drive system works in here. So there's a couple things with it as to why it's never going to jam and why it's gentler on paint than everything else. So the paddle also, that just comes right out and clicks back in. Now we have these like soft touch arms on the paddle, so they actually they're very flexible and that's going to make it super gentle on even like the most, the most brittle tournament paint. And then the drive it's also spring loaded if you can see that here. So it'll actually spin and push down and go underneath. So if ever there was a jam, it clears the jam before it impacts it at all. So we say like it'll never jam. Basically, if there ever was a jam, it'll clear that jam before you ever have any impact from it. You want to put the paddle back in, you just spin it here, click it back in, paddle's back in. Now the way it works, you turn it on, that's going to put it into this pulsing mode here, and it actually has a, a G-force sensor on here. So it detects the acceleration from the gun. So every time you shoot, it tells it to spin. And then the faster you shoot, the faster it'll spin. And as soon as it starts to feel any resistance, then it knows when to stop. As soon as you shoot again, it starts to spin again, and again, the faster you shoot, the faster it spins. So that's the operation of the Spire. It'll keep up with you know, the fastest guns in paintball, anything you can, any tournament you're playing in, wherever the rules are, plenty fast enough, never gonna jam, light as can be, small as can be, holds more paint, switches back and forth between the lids and the speed feed in seconds. So, again, one more time just to put it back together to show you that it's not just how quick you can take it apart, but also how quick and easy it is to put it back together. That's it, you're good to go. Thanks, guys. The tongue, make everybody tear. Breathe the moon, inhale the light year. Who's the goons that's ready to fight beers in the booth?